BBC One, Mary Rhodes presents Inside Out. In tonight's programme, what's it like to know your home is at risk? A week after the government gave the go-ahead for High Speed 2, we meet some of the people most affected. I just feel numb. I, I just can't believe we just found this out. Walsall personal fitness trainer Paul Wilson investigates why we're the fattest region in Europe and takes on a challenge to sort out three cereal dieters. This is probably the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I didn't realise just how well fit I am. Oh dear God, I think he's trying to kill me. And football dreams can come true. We catch up with some wannabe stars of the future. I'm Mary Rhodes and this is Inside Out for the West Midlands. Hello and welcome to Tamworth, home to the Reliant Robin and to some of the country's fattest people. And well, because there's no delicate way of putting this, we asked fitness guru Paul Wilson not to tiptoe around the issue, but to give us some hard facts. Guess what? Recent studies show that six in every hundred people think they're obese. The real number, one in four people are obese. The fact is, we're getting used to being fat. We think it's normal. I'm just doing a little documentary about uh, oh, wow. that diet. Uh, you know, it's hard and fat. Mainly when you go swimming, a lot of the men like look at his normal, go look at the size of her sort of thing, and I just think, oh, it's, at the end of the day, you're the size that you are, and if people don't like it the way you look, then it's just tough. I've come to Tamworth, obesity central. This town isn't just home to the fattest people in England, but the fattest people in Europe. 30% of people here are now classed as obese. Come on, Tamworth. It doesn't need to be this way. I want to make sure I lose, uh, get my mark of three and a half stone by the end of the year. I did have to go on a diet two years ago for uh, Heartlands Hospital because I was having a stomach operation. And believe it or not, I lost two stone in two months. I was naughty. I started <laughs> eating chocolate and cream cakes. I put three stone back on in two years. See, I run outdoor boot camps in Warsaw, and quite a few people seem to come along as a last resort. Take Tracy. As a kid, she was underweight. But in her late 30s and early 40s, despite trying every diet going, she's been piling on the pounds. Oh, this is probably the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I didn't realise just how well fit I am. Oh, dear God. I think he's trying to kill me. <laughs> Then there's a husband, Brian. Claims he was born 17 stone. But now he says his size is beginning to tap on him. I'm getting older, I want to be fitter. Uh, we've got young grandkids. I want to be able to play with the kids in the summer rather than dying. And finally, there's 22 stone Tom. He likes his beer and his nights out. And although he says he doesn't eat rubbish, he does like to feel full after a meal. And that means big portion sizes. Really worn out. Really, I can't breathe. I know it's a common use, but I have got asthma like. So I'll try and breathe in and out as much as I can. But uh, it still really tires you out, don't I? Well, I've tried every other kind of form of dieting and exercise. Uh, I, I went to a gym for like about a year. Didn't get any great results. I just thought like it's basically down to me being. If, if I need someone not to give me that kick up the arse. Well, when I've left my own accords, I, I kind of give up after five minutes and move someone else. Over the next month, our three guinea pigs are going to keep video diaries. And we'll see how they get on with the diet that cuts out gluten, sugar and alcohol and come into boot camp at least three times a week, whatever the weather. And all this just before Christmas. I must admit that I hurt so badly now, though. Really, really badly. I'm walking like I've got two broken legs. It's just the most ridiculous thing I've ever done. I'm a 43-year-old grandmother. 
for goodness sake. Why can't I just be content with knitting? It is hard, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's like not eating what you want when you want. It doesn't sound like a, a really harsh thing, but it, it kind of is when you haven't had anything that you like for six weeks. While they were doing that, I went to find out why people in the Midlands are so fat. The experts say we're still eating as if we work in heavy industry, but the jobs are gone and we're not burning those calories. Being poor doesn't help. When funds allow, we want cheap, quick hit calories. People are consuming foods which uh, they simply aren't exercising enough to, um, to get the weight off. If people live in, a, in poverty, um, you know, what they're actually looking for day to day is, is the food, the calories to keep them going. And, you know, it does mean that people eat uh, high fat foods and foods for comfort and uh, foods that are cheap. So, you know, people aren't thinking about, uh, you know, an extra few years of life later on in their lives. They're actually uh, thinking about their day to day existence. Being out of work is certainly a factor for people who've become serial dieters. The Cambridge diet worked for a while. Um, <clears throat> and then my watchers, but with weight watchers you think now I can eat this chocolate and then you go on to more chocolate and that. So it didn't really work for me. Um, and then there's others just cutting down. But at the moment, because I'm not working and I'm bored, it's like I'll just sit and watch, eat TV and watch, eat chocolate biscuits or, you know, so that's... I was hoping it would get easier, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it um, and I can see results. I've lost nine pounds now in a week and a half do, following the, the plan and everything. Uh, it's a killer. <laughs> it's absolutely killing me. It's been a bit of a mixed bag, I mean. First week was really hard, and it's, I can see how it's so easy for me to give up in the first week, you know. But I think the second week, I've had more kind of um, feedback from people saying, "Oh, you're full of energy, you're getting up early, you're getting to sleep earlier on at night. My diet's good, you know. I'm not all moping around the place. I'm kind of up and doing stuff with the day instead of just moping around." I mean, if my girlfriend says she can notice off my belly. Okay, so boot camp can work for you if you're prepared to turn up and there's one near you that you can afford. But in a region struggling with obesity and a lack of money, most experts believe the economic crisis is going to make the Midlands statistics even worse. Obesity levels are likely to increase um, as uh, people have to uh, cut their uh, budgets even more. Cheaper and more processed foods are likely to be even more prominent. And, um, you know, so I, I predict that people will get fatter, they will get less healthy, and, um, you know, the, uh, the, the already high rates of obesity are likely to increase. But you know what? People like Tom and Tracy and Brian are proving that you can turn things around. Throw away those jogging pants because nothing else fits. Make 2012 the year that we put some other part of Europe into the headlines for all the wrong reasons. I will be going back next Monday and I will be starting again and I will get that weight off and I will be fit and I will be healthy, which to me is far more important than being slim. Um, my dad died when he was 42 of a massive heart attack, he was overweight and he ate too much, he drank too much, he smoked too much. I don't want to be like that. I felt loud better, physically better, mentally better. Um, a couple of weeks off over Christmas, I've slipped a little bit, um, but it's not as hard tonight as it was the first time I came. It's loads easier. I can get to the top of the stairs now without getting out of breath, which is really, really good. But you know what? Boot camp isn't for everyone, but gentle exercise will make a difference. Check with your GP before starting anything too vigorous. And if you're looking for some inspiration to lose weight or get fit, then you can find us on Facebook. That's